Death is like the wind, always by my side. What is up, guys? Today we are looking at another Pizang VOD review. This one of Yasuo versus Akali. So this is a very interesting matchup. I'm actually very <clears throat> excited to see this because it's a matchup that I struggle a lot with. Uh, honestly, look at the runes. I thought he was gonna take second win, but he's actually taking bone plating. So that's interesting. I feel like um, against Akali, bone plating is kind of awkward because she's always just gonna poke it off you instant instantly with her Q. So I don't know why he was bone plating in this lane. I mean, the bone plating definitely um helps later on. He can't just like jump on you and one shot you, but I don't know. I think of Akali more of a poke champion, honestly, in lane. Well, maybe it's a little bit different for Yasuo, because Yasuo can, like, go in immediately with the bone plating. Uh, whereas Yone, you really can't, so you're just gonna get poked off, so... Maybe it's just a Yasuo-only thing, and not really on Yone. He's going D-Blade, Flea. This is definitely a matchup that I would take Flea into. I've been taking Conqueror a lot more. I know p -Zang, I think, like, only takes Fleet, but... I think in NA and other regions, and in Korea, that Conqueror is a lot better half the time. It's like melee teams, but yeah, he's against an Akali, Shmolder, Nidalee. So obviously, like, Conqueror would be terrible this game because um, they're not tanky, so they don't really need extra damage, and the movement speed is going to let you get onto them, which is a lot more important, so. <clears throat> Where does he actually, like, rotate to that? I will say this lane is a lot better for Yasuo than it is for Yone. I hate being Yone in this lane. This with Yasuo, you should never get hit by her E, which is like where most of her damage is, so... I don't feel as bad. <clears throat> yeah, kind of like that. Like, in lane, bone planting is not going to do anything. So I, I guess he's taking it for, like, outside of lane. Or maybe, like, level 2 and just goes in with bone planting. It's kind of good. Because he probably already has enough sustain with, like, second wind and all that, so... Actually, missing most of his keys right now. <clears throat> Ever since, uh, I think this is the patch where he also got buffed too. I could be wrong. Pretty sure it is though. Yeah, I think he also is actually like one of the strongest champs in the game right now, in terms of laning at least. But I mean, that's always been the case. But yeah, with the E damage buffs, it's actually absurd how much damage this champion does. He still has like the same issue of like if you if your whole team like in some of the games like even mid game, obviously you're gonna fall off. But like this champ's early game is like as strong, if not stronger than Renekton's right now. So it's a bit absurd. So I don't want to see anyone saying that the champ is weak at the moment. Definitely is not. But you know you're always gonna like versus those team comps where against like Renekton, Pantheon. Rek'Sai, Fiddle, and it's unplayable. Although you can actually win wall Fiddle here now, so it's not as bad. The reason why I'm saying Fleet is a lot better on, like, Korea is because, like, the players are a lot better, first of all, and, like, laning is, like, all that matters in this region. Um, but I think on NA, a lot of times, especially if you're in lower elo, if you're playing, like, in, you're, like, Diamond and below, you should be taking Conqueror, like, almost every game, in my opinion. At least on Yone, on Yasuo, definitely, like, no matter what elo, you're gonna take Fleet this game. Just because the movement speed is gonna be way more valuable than the extra damage. Like, in some games, Conqueror is gonna be useless, because, like, if they're this fast and mobile, you can't even get onto them, they're like, what is the point of Conqueror? Mm. 
<clears throat> he just keeps like faking his back basically because I have mean, no reason not to, I guess. But he's probably just waiting until he can get Berserkers. Then he sees his jungle invading, so he just wants to stay so he can keep pressure on the map. Keep a collie under turret, have HP value, win the 2v2. But his Lee Sin do whatever he wants. <clears throat> I mean, also, Lee Sin 2v2 is like insane. Oh. I think he's actually dead here, yep. Damn, this is the first time I've seen Pizang play a bit sloppy, although it did go one for one, so it's actually not even bad. I'm <clears throat> surprised she couldn't just walk down and get out. It's definitely a little sloppy this game, but I mean, it's not even worth for the Akali at all. Like, his wave state is so good, she flies. I think she flies. No, she definitely flies. He's playing really aggressive here just because he's not really scared of anything here. Oh, I'm kind of. I thought he would like try to keep some more minion just so he can like hold this freeze, but I was not gonna freeze at all. I thought he held like one or two more. We say it would've been really good, but I'll just even. Oh, I think it failed too. Which is a shot. Maybe he goes for something here. Nice, dude. I cannot. I, I can't wait to play with like Pike and shit. On NA, it's just like only enchanters, but dude, like playing Yasuo mid, with, like tank support, and you're running 24 7, like this is one of. Uh, th again, like Yasuo in its current state with Flea, Absorb Life, all that is one of the most impressive champions early game. So, like, if your team actually plays for your lane, it is unplayable. This has way too much healing, way too much damage, especially with the e buffs. Absolutely absurd. <clears throat> like, don't get me wrong, Kali is still a very annoying champion. Especially if you fuck up one time, she can easily just one shot you. Get hit by one ult E, you are probably dead. Getting the plane together. The universe craves chaos. Emotion. Is that here, I have no idea what she's thinking. <laughs> I mean, it's a listen. Wow, that Q actually goes off. Well, I guess it was a one for one. I guess that shouldn't have been a one for one. But yeah, I don't know what Akali's thinking there. I guess she kind of has to. Just like, die for it. Because if she doesn't walk up, she just loses everything over and over again. God, he's so clean with like the in and out. Yeah, matchup is very, very bad for Akali nowadays, in my opinion, with Fleet. Fleet and just wood walling. Especially if you have a good like 2v2, she cannot play the game at all. Things going cracking, exactly what I would do this game. Like honestly, I think the two things right now is like if you're if it's a fleet game, like this game for example, they're all squishy, except for Kimo's kinda tanky. But it's like they're they're four squishy and they have a lot of mobility. So like fleet kraken feels really good. You're just so fast. Uh you don't need the extra damage from Kraken or not Kraken, Conqueror. This feels really, really good. But I, I think people do it every single game, which is like trolling. So like, let's say you're against like a Mundo top, they have like a Sejuani jungle and like a Galio mid. Like obviously they're not gonna have that team comp, probably. But like something like that. I, I can't think of a more realistic scenario right now, but basically just like all melees and like tanky. And then I would still see like almost every also player go like Fleet and Kraken. It's just like, I think it's really troll. I think in those games, you just take Conqueror plus four. With Shield Bow second. I mean, you go show a second no matter what, but yeah, I just feel like those are the two build paths right now, and I don't like how I see a lot of people just 
rush the same thing every game. Be like, oh, I'm only going fleet cracking. It's like, this is a good fleet cracking game, but another game, again, like, it'll definitely be a pork taco game. <clears throat> like, honestly, I wouldn't even mix them. I, I would just be like, if it's a Conqueror game, if you're running Conqueror, you're gonna be running Borg. But I guess there could be, like, some exceptions. Oh, he's kind of thrown with that ult. I, did not, I don't think she meant to uh, dash for that. Oh, Lee Sin kind of fucked up. Wow, she actually lives. What? Lee Sin tried to Q first for some reason. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, Lee Sin Yasuo, probably one of uh, the best 2v2s you can do into a call. You just win all her whole kits and just be able to reveal her. Not much you can really do. Oh, this just looks so impressive. And she's dead. <laughs> and she cannot play the game. Dude, like, what is she even supposed to do? Looks so unplayable. I wonder if this is going to be a loss, though, because Schmolder is 6 to 1. Let's see, really, when we this game. Oh my god, his ease. Oh, I think he fucked up. Oh, never mind the bait of the century. Holy shit. And they get the shutdown. <laughs> that colleague just gets spam pinged. Yeah, he's probably just gonna go crack and chill, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Like, people think I change my opinion all the time between like Flea, but it's like, uh, my opinions are very, um, they stay the same. But for Yone, I think Fleet is always bad, but for Yasuo, I think Fleet is really good in a lot of games. In a game like this, for sure. It is very good. Also, I would never go like Fleet Bork. I don't really like Fleet Bork. I think if you're going Fleet, you kind of want Kraken always. Because they synergize so well together, in my opinion. Because like when you go Fleet Bork, you do like no damage. I just go straight on the shoulder. Oh my god, he's gonna hold me on this game so hard. A bit insane. How is it only five minutes in this? You're telling me the enemy team. I wonder if this is one of those games where, like, it doesn't show all the game, but, like, there's no way they just surrender, right? <clears throat> if they actually FF this game... Uh, that's actually crazy. When they have a Schmolder, and it's 14 and 12. Yeah, he is just playing this game fully perfectly. Even his one death, like, it wasn't even sloppy, honestly. Like, dying there is actually really good. Made his latency just so good. But he is just running the whole map. Also, you see how he didn't try to roam at all until after he just, like, completely shit on mid lane? Like, that's what you want to do on this champ. But like, Gaston and Yone, you don't really want to roam until, like, you're massively far ahead. <laughs> oh, look at this damage. In NA, they would never FF this game. We'll see if it actually happens. But yeah, he's just completely shitting on his lane, making them come to his lane, get first blood turret. Playing with a jungler, and then he goes room after he gets Matari. Like, he's never over roaming. Oh, he actually went IE second, by the way. I mean, he's just so far ahead, he's probably like, fuck it, why not? I mean, these scenarios are this far ahead, you literally can't die, you're just gonna one shot everyone. It's probably gonna do. Like, he has no fear at all. Holy, I should just tell him one auto attack. <clears throat> this is how so many of these games go. Just so high paced in Korea. 
after they have one lane loses, they just keep fighting over and over again. What was the NA which is sitting on turrets for promo? It's just not as chat. I feel like this is a challenger account. Wait, I need to check the loading tune again. I don't think it shows loading tune. No, it's a GM. Oh, I guess it's like not a challenger game, that's why. But dude, he is just making GM Master look like a. Quite literally silver. This literally looks like a silver game. Wow, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if any Yasuo fans are saying that Yasuo is weaker right now, just like, look at this gameplay. Like, I obviously it's like, it's P Zhang, but if this guy is making Challenger or Grandmaster Korea look like a silver game, I mean, the champ is definitely pretty OP right now, for sure. It means you guys can do this in your silver games, and you only have to be like, a, not even 10% of PZ. Oh my god, just styling on them. Okay, <laughs> I can see why they FF. It's not surprising though, because in NA they were never, ever, ever in a million years. 16 to 21, one dragon down, and they have a Schmolder. I feel like it's kind of insane to even FF this game. Even though it's Korea. But like, so if he like messes up one time, it's. Oh, this is well, it's a Yasuo. Falls off. Oh my god, dude. He's just full on predicting every. This guy's legit AI. I don't know. I don't know, man. This isn't even silver, man. This is like in a bot game. Oh? No, he's still not. 12 and 1. This is 12 and 1. Hit him? Dude, they're so tilted. Oh, I assume this means they FF after this fight. Yeah, I mean, the game is definitely completely over. Holy. But yeah, this should prove you guys that Yasuo is definitely not weak at the moment. Even they, yeah, they did FF this game. That is crazy. But yeah, again, like, Fleet is good on Yasuo. Do not get me wrong. I've always said this. Fleet is good, but take it into these matchups where it's like, they're all squishy, and you need the move. The movement speed's gonna be really helpful. Okay? Like, if, if they're really tanky, like, if you're against a Galio mid with a Mundo top, but probably do not take Fleet Conqueror. Or Fleet Crack in that game. Probably go Conqueror Bork. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more bot reviews of not just PZ Zang, but anyone else. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.